Hello everyone and welcome to a new lab in Microsoft Word 2013. Today, today's lab is lab number three. In today's lab, we will learn new topics. We will work with a paragraph. We will uh, deal with tab stops. Also, we will insert images. We will modify the header and the footer. To get started with today's lab, you need two files. You need an instructions file for lab three, and you need the starting file for lab three. I already downloaded both files and I have them, so I will go ahead and position the instruction uh, files a file here on the right side and I will uh, go and open my let me find it quickly, my starting file, uh, I downloaded it but in your situation you need to uh, actually download uh, this file uh, so I have the instructions now I need the starting files so now I have both files side by side so I will go ahead and position them as you can see here so in this lab what you expect to learn you will learn how to check the spelling and the grammar of the document how to insert hyperlinks how to change the font style uh, line spacing align paragraphs tab stops insert pictures and modify the header and the photos so going going at the uh, instructions document, the first item it says open Word Lab three starting file. We already did save it as Word Lab three in Documents Microsoft Word Labs folder. So I will go ahead and click on file. And now, which one do I need to choose? Save or save as? Any guess? Do I need to change the name? Yes. Will I save it in a new location? Yes. So now, save or save as? Yes, you are right. Save as. And then I will choose the location, Microsoft Word Labs. Make sure that you choose a location inside your computer. Or if you prefer to use the SkyDrive, you can. I will change the file name to Word Lab 3, as you can see now. And then uh, I will click on uh, Save. And uh, I had it from before. It is open elsewhere. So let me go ahead and close it first. So I will go ahead and close this. Uh, one and then I will save it one more time. Did you see what happened if you have the file with the same name open? Uh, usually Microsoft Word doesn't allow you to replace it So I will go ahead and click now when I click replace it replaces it So now you are learning new things as we progress We already saved the file then it check the spelling and the grammar So now looking at my document here the uh, actual file that I need to submit for today. I See something what do I see? I see here that I have some swiggly red lines under some text. That means that I have spelling errors. If I have green swiggly line, that means I have grammar error. If I have a, a blue uh, line under the text, it means that this word is not supposed to be in that uh, location. So I will go ahead and check the spelling and the grammar. Uh, which tab do I need to go to? Do I need to review the document? Yes. So which tab? Review tab. Yes, you're right. And then it's spell checking and the grammar. And then I will go ahead and look at the first one. Make sure uh, uh, I'm getting a correct spelling. A change. And then it graduate each. Uh, it says here no uh, recommendation. But I have an item here that says repeated word. So I will go ahead and double click on this word and then delete it. If you need to uh, change manually... You go to the text, right click on it, and then it choose the right spelling. Right click on the red swiggle line, and then it choose the right uh, spelling. Okay, now looking back at the bottom here, do you see this proofing uh, icon? It says that I still have some proofing errors. So if I click on it, it takes me back to the documents, and when I go to the documents, if you have uh, X on top of the book here, it means that you still have errors. Do you see N here? N is not supposed to be here, so I will go ahead and uh, remove it. And once I do that, now I have a check mark, which means that I have no proofing uh, error. So let's keep going. Insert a hyperlink to Mountain Empire Community College that points to the college website. So I will highlight the text, and then I will go to uh, Insert tab, and then I will click on uh, Links, and then Hyperlinks. And then I will type HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol, and then uh, colon double forward slashes www.mecc.edu and then I will go ahead and click on OK 
Now it says here it changed the font within the document to 14 Arial. So I will press Ctrl A to select the entire document and then I will go to the Home tab and then it changes the text size to 14 and then the text font to uh, Arial. And uh, the uh, well, you just type Arial. Oops, uh, do you see what happened? Arial, I need just Arial. So I will go ahead and click here. Yes, I have it Arial. Yes, yeah, that's correct. Now let's keep going. Change the spacing in the document to one point. So now I will go back to here, Control A to select everything, and then I need to spacing to 1.5. What is next? Align the first paragraph. So this is the first paragraph in my uh, document here. I will select it, and then I will go to uh, Align. I need to choose Justify look it is aligned from both sides now it says highlight the range from fall to summer so I will go ahead and highlight that range and then I need to apply apply what left tab at one inch and set the right tab at four uh, inches with dashed leaders so I will go to the lunch dialog here the launcher dialog click on it beside the paragraph group and then I need to click on tabs I need to insert one left tab stop set and then the second one four after four inches I need another when I press the second tab stop it moves uh, four uh, inches from the uh, left margin all right everyone so I'll go ahead and I already said, oops, one second, number four, I did read the instructions again. Number one is correct. So what if I need to remove, uh, I did that so I can show you how to remove a tab stop. You click on it and then choose clear. Read uh, the instructions again. It says, uh, set a right tab stop at four inches with dashed leader. So I will type four. It is right and dashed leader and then I will go ahead and click on set now that's correct I will click OK and then it says here place the insertion point at the beginning of fall and then press tab do the same thing for spring the same thing for uh, summer and then go to the beginning of four press tab again do you see what is happening and look at the ruler here this is a left and this is a right align and this is the dashed as I specified and then do the same thing here going back down here uh, repeat I already finished all the way until number 12 can you believe that so insert the MECC logo in the documents header and center it so I will go ahead and press ctrl C select the image first and then ctrl C or you go to the home tab and then click on the copy icon and then I will double click in the header of my solution and then press ctrl V to paste it or I can go to home tab and then click on paste and make sure that you select your image and uh, you need to uh, center your image so I select it and then I will go to the home tab and then uh, center my image let's do that one more time I will delete right and then I will go take my uh, image right click on it and choose a copy or Control C, come back here, go to Home tab, and then click on uh, Paste. Right now, what if I need to center this image? Look, you drag it and you center it on the right location. So, because this is an image, and look at the image here. Once you have an image, you get a box beside it. If you click on it, it will show you how the text wraps around this image. So keep that in mind we will use that in the future so the default selected is square so now when I uh, move the image as you have seen and then this image is centered in the header I will double click outside of the header inside my documents to get out of the header section and then it says type your first name and your last name in the footer section so you go all the way down here double click in the footer and then type your first name and your last name and then double click in the body of the document save 
this file so you click on save and basically that is how your uh, document should look like so please everyone uh, make sure that your document looks exactly as uh, you have seen it uh, i hope you did learn something new today uh, thank you everyone for watching and i will see you in future tutorials bye bye everyone